now returning to the Time Splitters franchise. If you really enjoy these videos, then you're in luck because there's going to be some more Time Splitters videos coming soon. And with that being said, let's begin today's video. One of the ideas I've had recently is creating a cheat table for Time Splitters Future Perfect that would feature a ton of modifications on vehicles. Today I made my first step towards this direction by finding a cheat that enables first person mode while we're driving. It's apparent that there's not much use of vehicles in your normal playthrough of Future Perfect. That's why I'm also thinking about hacking MapMaker to potentially create more options as far as drivable terrain goes. I'm placing the footage of the first person driving mod in the background while I talk about this project idea. The big problem for all this is that Dolphin is such a pain in the ass to work with and when it comes to Cheat Engine especially. Generating pointer maps is almost always never going to work. That basically means that whatever cheats we find and save to Cheat Engine, they all become forever invalid whenever the emulator closes. If you load the game back up, you always have to refind everything else in Cheat Engine and it is so tedious. That's why for the development of this cheat table, I'll be using a PS2 emulator called PCSX2. This will make it easier to create a cheat table that can reliably reload all of the hacks that I've found for this game. I wish there was a cheat engine kit developed for the issues of working with Dolphin Emulator, because I love hacking time splitters, but it's always an incredibly time consuming process when I'm looking for a specific code and Dolphin just shuts down out of nowhere and Again, generating a pointer map just never works for me, so it's really hard to get a hack to work again unless I write down the values of the address on Notepad. And I know this video was really short, I wish I had more to say, but at the moment, I just would like for all of you to stay tuned for some more Time Splitters videos. I've also got a lot of updates on the potential Easter egg in Duke Nukem Zero Hour. So if you aren't caught up on that mystery, I really recommend watching that video and do expect an update to that after this video is posted. With all that being said, stay safe and take it easy.